there are two main points from your section. First thing is the like we need to create a conversation in such a way that they need to think about how much value does it cost. Okay, like so if you see this thing, how much this value does it cost to you? So I think that's the first message. How Second much it cost, or how much is it worth to you? Or is it how much it's gonna cost you for not knowing how to do it? Not, not just doing it, right? How much is it gonna cost you in life for not knowing how to do it? If you're looking to craft an irresistible offer, one that your audience just can't refuse, I call these godfather offers, then today in this video, I'm gonna be taking you behind the scenes to a coaching call that we recently did to walk you through the entire thought process and the strategy of what it takes to craft one. Let's begin. First person we have up here is, we have Waikit, whom I believe uh, you just did your first live offline event. I'm gonna take a look at some of your numbers, but before we do, team is gonna unmute you right now. Just walk us through who you serve, the results you help them generate, and then we'll begin. <clears throat> Hi, good evening, everyone. So I'm serving the property investor, and specifically for last Sunday, um, I'm organizing an event actually like to promote my um, off uh, offline event classes to teach about how to do the room rental and room rental management. So um, registration wise, I have like around close. Wait, wait. To so, so one second, Waikit. So you help investors with property investments. What would you like to get out of this session that you feel will either help you scale or help you get unstuck? I think my most uh, important part is that like. Uh, one of the feedback that I received from my team is like, I didn't manage to create the hoo-ha moment during the presentation. Means that a hoo-ha audio... moment. What is a hoo-ha moment? It's kind of like I feel the urgency, the table rush moment. So the, they okay. ask the audience asked me a lot of questions, but then in the end, they don't feel the excitement to purchase my product. Mm. So yeah, okay. so that was the reason why. Great. Yeah, Let's okay. Walk us through the numbers so I can see here. You got fifty six people registered, twenty four yep. people attended, which is forty three percent show up rate, and then you had an eight percent close for a three hundred US dollar offer. Is that correct? Yes, correct. Yep. Remember, it's not about just the offer; it is how everything is connected with each other that makes the offer great. Okay, it is not about Let's take a look at this offer and if the offer is great or not. It's, well, what was the explanation that led up to this so that this thing is great? So this means that in order for this thing to be great, we got to think about what is the conversation that has to take place in order to make this great. Now, let me just say this, okay, Waikid, you got a lot of elements right, okay? There's nothing wrong with that. It's good, okay? How can we make it better? So one of the things you guys have heard me say so many times, right? What's one of the difference between pretty good and like legendary is that sometimes we want to be able to get our audience to arrive at the conclusion themselves. So to, in order to make it more interactive, you don't want to make it so that you're giving it away like it's nothing. Here's the thing that I would like people to be able to see, okay? I would like you to take this you know what, those pictures in there, like the picture that's below over here, on the bottom right, and get them to name a number, right? Now, based on today's prices, this would be, if you were to get an interior designer, the contractor, the person who does up the wallpapers, the person that's gonna source for the items, and if you paid this company or person to do all of that for you, now, realistically, right, without lowballing, like based on market price, if you were to get a company or a person that is good at what it is they do to get a room like that done, how much do you think it would set you back? Right? Get them to say it. I'm not yeah. even going on the offer. I'm actually still on this slide and I'm teaching them. I'm teaching them about how to think about reno, about sourcing, about appeared perceived value, I'm still giving good content, right? But notice what I'm also doing. What I'm really doing also is I'm building up the value of my offer that's way later down the road when I'm talking about 
the templates, right? Copy and paste templates. Now, what I want you to do is, remember that image that I showed you earlier? What if there was just one template? How many of you would like to have 15? Because some people like bright colors, some people like bold, some people like classic, some people like modern contemporary. How many of you here would like to be able to build up all these different designs yourself with me literally giving you the suppliers from China on how you can source it yourself and to be able to put it all in your place and have fun doing it at the same time? How many of you here would love that? Right? So understand something, this is not just another property investment training. This is where literally, you literally have fun building up these things as well. Right? Notice what I'm doing over here, it's like, it's all about connecting what it is that you taught with your offer. If every component in your offer, there was some sort of hook or story to it that you did before. Okay, so what do amateurs do? Amateurs try to build up the value of the offer as they're making the offer. Game changers and the top 1% will always build up the offer as they are doing the content or telling the story. And you want to be able to think about, can I attach some sort of hook so that they remember and story to it so that when I do come to my offer, it's like, oh man, yes, I want the templates. There are two main points from your section. First thing is that like, we need to create a conversation in such a way that they need to think about how much value does it cost, okay? Like, so if you see this thing, how much this value does it cost to you? So I think there's a first message. How Second much it cost or how much is it worth to you? Or yeah. is it how much it's going to cost you for not knowing how to do it? Not, not just doing it, right? How much is it going to cost you in life? Or not knowing how to do it. Okay. Okay, great. Uh, another main message is that like, what if you can't do it? Why you, is that we need to explain to them that like, why you can't do it yourself? Why you need my guidance? We, I need to justify to them and create that conversation for each offer. Well, I hope you enjoyed the behind the scenes to this coaching call. If you enjoyed this video, let me know in the comments below what your biggest takeaway is. And as always, be sure to smash the like button. It does help the channel out a little bit and to subscribe to this channel if you want to be notified of future videos just like this one. Now, some of you asking me, how can I be part of this process? How can I ask you questions? How can I have you coach me or mentor me? Um, we want to make sure that we are working with the people that's the right fit. You'll need to fill up a form. There's a link right below this video. Somebody on my team might give you a call to interview you to see if they're right fit for each other. And if you want to apply and see if you're a good fit, then all you need to do is click on this link in the description box below and my team will be in touch with you.